and in Bangor Cathedral today, family, friends and admirers remember, express gratitude for and celebrate the life of Irvon. We need hardly utter his full name. Irvon Williams came to prominence through his battle with cancer. It was a personal battle for him, a battle for his health and for life itself. That battle required courage and determination and Irvon showed those qualities in abundance. But Irvon's battle turned into a battle for everyone who was facing or who had faced the same crisis in their life and everyone who could face it at some point and that of course includes each and every one of us. It was while helping the Tenerife's Miron shave Irvon's head the year they steadvod in Bala that I first met him after his diagnosis. The goal was to raise money at that time and raising awareness was equally important to Irvon. And raising awareness in his words of the right to a fighting chance, the right to a chance to access treatment, to, univer to the universal right for everyone to have the opportunity to survive the cruelty of cancer. It was very fitting that Irvon had become a key member of the panel on reviewing funding requests for patients in Wales and that that had resulted in a system that we all hope will lead to greater equity for patients wherever they are. But today, as we send our deepest condolences to his wife Becky and the children, we remember Irvon as a gentleman who was and who will remain an inspiration to so many.